let's see. We are in the Apollo rocket. And we do want to do a rendezvous with the Gemini rocket. So this should now be possible. Yay. Due to the latest version, which has some nice fixes for exactly that. So let's have a look at this updated UI. What do we have here? A new target flight computer. Isn't that something? It tells us closest approach, relative velocity and distance. We can do anti-velocity and align. And also towards and away. So those were the things that we I was missing. And also, I can show you later, now the map view shows on the trajectory the closest approach for a maneuver that you calculate or plan, a burn that you plan. That also wasn't there until this latest build. So we go into the map view. Let's see where Germany is. It is behind us. We shift click it. Up. Now it is our target. And we also see that our current closest approach is 4000 kilometer, which is far from what we want to have, right? So first step, as always, is to match inclination. As you can see on the bottom right of that window, we see the burn relative inclination decreasing as we approach zero there. Okay, so we have that planned. Let's execute it. Mm -hmm. Not in the map view, but here for you to have something nice to look at. Also, we say automatically perform the burn and also warp to the maneuver. Let's go. And there we go. Okay, now let's see. Our orbits are inclined. This new closest approach is approximately somewhere here. So on the opposite side of the globe, we just create a maneuver. And now once we start putting in some values there, we should see another closest approach appearing. And that is for our burn. So let's try to minimize the value there. 70, 50, 20, 40, 8, 3. Okay, let's go even lower to multiplier 0.1 and see how far we can get. 900 meters, 600 meters, 300 meters, 120. 120 looks like it's going to be 120, which is a super nice value. So as you can see, this is 44 meters a second. I think we can try to do this with 5%. 90, 80, 70, 60, 30, up, 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 up. 11 and the rest we do with RCS okay we are down to 900 meters closest approach already see it on the right there 300 meters 200 meters how far down can we get it okay it looks like 130 is the closest we can get okay let's look at the map view on what we did we go around here and when we meet up we should be 134 meters close Gemini seems to be appearing there on the horizon. Right now it's still 700 kilometers away. So what we want to do is, once we are on the closest approach, we want to burn, burn anti-velocity, right? Because we want to cancel out any relative velocity that we have. So we still have approximately 500 meters a second relative velocity. We are approaching Gemini. So once we are close by, we are going to hit the throttle and try to cancel out those 500 meters a second of delta V. Two kilometers, one kilometer, let's go. 
there it is. We can see it already. We have 24 meters of relative velocity left and 300 meters distance. Try to cancel out this relative velocity as good as we can. All right, here we go. Some RCS action to go near zero. And then we are 500 meters away. Yeah, we are down to millimeter accuracy. What we want to do next in our rendezvous is we want to point directly at Gemini. And let me do that with the toward flight pilot button. Then we will gain some thrust towards it. To close those 500 meters distance. And once we really approach it, we are going to go back to zero relative velocity. Coming in closer. Let's cancel out more of that. There we go. Now we should be able to do the rest with RCS. Relative velocity is 63 centimeters a second. <laughs> so 50 meters away, guys. 50 meters away. Let's get a bit closer with just RCS magic. All right, I guess that's as close as we can get. Let's stay right here. 0.1 millimeter a second. Look at that. Okay, here we are. That is... That is super nice. Now we could just get one of the kittens out, move it over, deorbit and have it rescued or whatever. So, here it is. We made it. First rendezvous in an Earth orbit in Kitten Space Agency. Isn't that nice? <laughs>